Hello and welcome to Text a Number. My name is Jeff. I'm glad you're here. Let's just jump right in. I was recently asked the following question. Do you have a good way to convert text to values? And I'm going to answer that question in this video. Exercise one. First, let's talk about text numbers and cell formatting. If I type in a number like one and hit enter, I can see that the stored value is a number. By the way, here I just wrote a little formula that looks at this cell value and tells us if it's a number or text. If I type in the number two, it's a number. Three, it's a number. If I type in a name like Jeff, it's a text value. A is text, B is text, C is text. Okay, but now let's talk about cell formatting. Let's type in the number one. And by the way, you'll notice that this cell is right aligned and that is the default alignment for number values. The default alignment for text values is left aligned. But in any event, I type in the number one. Now let's say I change the format. For example, instead of general, let me format it as a text. So even though it's left aligned, it is still a number. In other words, the displayed value is the value that's displayed based on the cell formatting. So here, the underlying stored value is a number, even though we've applied text formatting. Now let me set this back to general. Now let's say I type in a text value. So it's a text, but let's say I apply a number format. Once again, it doesn't change the underlying stored value. And let me change this back to general. Now, here's what's strange. Before I type in the value, let me change the cell's format. Let's change it to text. Now let's type in a number like one, enter. And now we see that it is actually a text value. This type of behavior can also happen when we import worksheets from other sources. Like if we export something from our accounting system and then open it in Excel. What appear to us to be numbers have actually been stored as text values. And that is the source of this question. When we have a number that's being stored or treated as a text value, how do we actually convert it into a number? Well, we might think that we can simply change the formatting to a number, but one once the cell value is stored as a text, changing the format doesn't change the stored value. So if changing the formatting doesn't change the underlying stored value from text to number, how do we do that? Well, as with anything in Excel, there are several ways. So let's go to the next exercise. Exercise two. Let's look at three manual ways. First, depending on the version of Excel, you're going to notice that we get this alert. So what I can do is select this range of cells and then select convert to number. What we'll see here is all the numbers have been converted to numbers and any text values in the range are left as text values. Another way to do this conversion is to select any empty cell. When we do a standard copy, we've copied the contents of that cell, basically a zero to our clipboard. What we can do is select the range of cells and then we can do a paste special. And now if we pick add, what we're telling Excel to do is take the zero that we've stored to the clipboard and add it to any values that are in the range. We can click OK. Forcing that mathematical operation forces the data types to convert into numbers when appropriate and are left as text values when appropriate. Another manual way to convert this is to select the range, go to data and text to columns. Here we can step through the wizard and click finish. And now you can see the results are that numbers are stored as numbers and text values are stored as text values. You'll notice though, the cell formatting hasn't been changed. So what we can do is change it from text to general. Now, in addition to these manual techniques, we can also do it with a formula. Let's go to the next exercise. Exercise three. We can convert the original stored value into a number when appropriate by using the value function equals value. Here it takes a text value and converts it into the corresponding numeric value. We can go ahead and fill this down. And this works for all the numbers, but when the value function tries to convert a text, we get an error. So if we wanted to suppress this error, what we can do is wrap the if error function around it and say, try to do the conversion. If it works, great. But if you get an error, then just return the value in B10 instead. Enter. And now we can fill this formula down and now we've got it. So those are a couple of ways to convert text to numbers. Hopefully this is helpful. Thanks for joining me. Have a great day. Hey, Excel user. If you ever need to create summary reports, check out my pivot table for beginners video. It starts at the beginning and shows how to store the data transactions in a table and then how to summarize those transactions with a pivot table report. I hope it helps unlock the incredible power of pivot tables. This video is a production of Excel University. 